Okay, on December 2014, 1.51 a.m., my life changed forever, Jimmy. The early morning you took my son's life for a reason I would never know. Only, only Binky and God, only you, Binky, and God knows the real story. People keep telling me things happen for a reason or God won't give you more than you can bear, and I'm still struggling with that. I say, I say it has taught me a thing or two about life, people, and myself. People say I am very, a very strong woman, but I don't feel strong. I've been down a lot of times and I have snapped back. But how do you, how do you snap back from losing your job? I don't have an answer for that. I just think, I just want to hug him one more time forever. A few weeks ago, you wrote me a letter and apologized. And in my heart, I thank you for being sincere. And like I said, you know, I just please don't prove me wrong. I know I don't think you planned this. Just wrong place and wrong time. But at the end of the day, you took Binky's life. And in return, yours is, in a way, is taken away too. But one thing, Jimmy, one thing I can say is I know for sure is that we will, we will be forever bonded. The reason I say this is because I brought Binky in the world and you took him out. I felt his first breath and you took his last. I heard him speak his first words and you heard him say his last. So you and I are forever bonded. When, when you and I go to sleep and wake up, we will think of him. When I think of him, I will think of you. When I cry for him, I will cry at you for what you did to him. But always we will be forever bonded. Uh, I note that <clears throat> the defendant is apologetic. I do know that he has wrote a letter to the victim's mother that she did reference. I believe he is sincere. I believe he is apologetic. And on behalf of the defense, we are as well. That's all we wish to say today. Mr. Ernst, you do have a separate right to speak about your sentence at this time. This is known as your right of allocution. You may make any statement that you would like to make about your sentence or your case, but you are not required to say anything if you have anything that you want to say. You are judged guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. You are sentenced to the custody of the director of the Department of Corrections for the rest of your life. You are assessed a $150,000 civil penalty to the estate or the heirs of law of Olympio J. Campbell, Jr. You're ordered to pay victim restitution restitution for court costs. In this case, I don't have any choice about what the sentencing option is. It is definitely appropriate under these circumstances. I appreciate that you wrote a letter of apology to Mr. Campbell's family. Some people don't do that. I appreciate that you at least did. There are some circumstances, however, that once you make the decision, writing the words, I'm sorry, they come way short of anything that can ever be done to make up for it. You made the choice that took his life. And that's not a choice that you were entitled to make for him for his family, for his children, for anyone. You, di you didn't get the power to make that choice, but you decided to do it anyway. And because of that, you pay with your own life. That's what happens in the state of Iowa when you make that choice. And the jury found that you didn't act in self-defense, and I certainly agree with that. You didn't. You had other options. You didn't exercise them. It wasn't necessary. 